What's special about Isla Morada is that any given day you can catch over hundreds of different species of fish. If you want to fish inshore, uh, you know, for, for tarpon, if you want to fish three to five miles offshore for, for sailfish, um, or if you want to fish the patch reefs, you know, between the reef and, and shore, whatever someone's looking for, we have that type of fishing available for them. We have a 33-foot hydrus board. It's got triple 250s on the back, which makes us one of the fastest boats in Amarada. So we're literally an hour and 15 minutes away from the Bahamas. We can get into the Gulf and fish the Gulf wrecks uh, for cobia and, and goliath groupers and things like that. And we also can fish up and down the reef line here, three to five miles offshore. We can bottom fish for yellowtails and groupers and snappers. And in the wintertime, we get a, a really big migration of sailfish. We also have a custom 30-foot tower that enables us to be able to spot fish from high above the waterline, which is great for fishing down here in the Florida Keys. Sam's background is that he's been down here for over 20 years, been running charter boats for a long, long time, has a great tournament record, and has fished all the way from Miami through the Bahamas, and has also fished in the Galapagos Islands. So he's got a tremendous amount of experience fishing whatever type of species it is, whether it's from swordfish to marlin to sailfish to tunas to tarpon or, or groupers or whatever the case may be. Chris Ware is also awesome. Having Chris in the cockpit and his expertise, and he's fished many tournaments, and is also a very good person to help coach anglers, teach them what to do, understanding the equipment, how it all works. I think with, with having Chris on board, adding to Sam being up in the tower, it's almost like sometimes we have two captains. I mean, we're, we're definitely, you know, either one of the guys can, can run a boat and, and know what to do and, and know what to expect when, it, when a fish shows up. What makes Amarada not just a fishing place, but it's a destination place because we have things for the family to do. There's Theater of the Sea, which is a, an opportunity for kids to swim with the dolphins. Amarada has some of the best restaurants in the Keys and in all of Florida. Beachside restaurants, most of our clients, if they come down with a boat or if they fish with us, we'll go on the boat and we'll, we'll go dockside for dining. Um, and we don't drive cars down here. We try to take the boat to restaurants and do those types of things. So it's kind of a special place. It's, it's not go back to the motel and then drive to your restaurant. We, we kind of, you know, try to entertain folks on the water and give them a great water experience. Well, I think that's where we kind of fit everything from the, the serious sport fisherman, um, the guy that wants, you know, to catch a 150 pound fish to, to families. We do have a, a sink and a, and a head down below in the, in the center. We've got escapability if somebody doesn't want to fish and just wants to sightsee, they, there's, there's room for up to three people up in the tower. So we're, we're really kind of a family-friendly boat, plus we have the ability for the hardcore guy that wants to run up and down the reef or, or go way offshore to, to catch some dolphin or, or tunas.